Abigail wants me to do a mission for her. Now, I have no mission for Abigail yet. It might be a nice one. Something for little Jack. Where's little Jack at? Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can Give I me. Ask you I'm drinking my her? monster cans. Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please. Okay. I'll Where's take him in the morning. Thank you. Who want to take him where? Little Jack. Watch him be all over my ass now when I wake up in the morning. Oh, little Jackie. Is that you? Well, you're worse than a minute ago. Jack! What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Where's your, where's your fishing pole, kid? I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Little Jack. John Marston's boy. Fishing, kid. Down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? You know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. Looks as good a spot as any. Now, let's go fishing, little uh, your, your stick. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by mm. the shore. Come on, follow me. Follow me, kid. Just by the water there? You mean? Yes, sir. I can't <laughs> wait to get started. Here. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. What the fuck? See, I got a fuck. Oh. Hey. Here we go. Are you waiting for something? Now first, we need some bait. Cheese. Really? Cheese. Cheese. All right, we're going with cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Are you bored of fishing already? Now to go throw. Like that? That's it. Good. Last one, kid. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? 
Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. Yeah. I got one. Is it a big one? I, I don't know what I'm doing here. You see him fighting there, Jack? I got him. You gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Um. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Okay. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. I know. I can't get my fish. Why am I not catching any? Just be patient. <laughs> I can't catch my fucking fish, Jay. My arms are tired. You're all right. You know, this reminds me. I taught another boy to fish once, a long time ago. You mean Lenny? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, this was long before I met Lenny. Long before you was even born. I. Uh... Man. In. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to fish. I don't, I don't know how to do this. Quickly, quickly rotate. I'm rotating it. Oh no, wait, it's the, this is the wrong analog stick I was using. I was using the wrong analog stick, I was using the left one instead of the right one. There we go. Stupid fish. Look, Jack, it's a rock bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. You can catch anything, dipshit. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try my luck over there. Over where? Hmm. Damn it. I was like, we were fucked. Ow! You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. And... Hey, look, 
Look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. <laughs> sure. What a fine young man. Oh. In such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. <laughs> Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton detective agent. That's Ross! To the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's five thousand dollars. Guys, right, hold me down on the next one. Five thousand dollars for me? Gonna turn myself in. We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Basically, that guy holding the gun on me right now is the guy who... Fishing, kid. Why you still can. That's the guy who gets John Marston and kills him in the end of it. No Red Redemption work. one. No one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Agent Ross. He hunts down John Marsh from Red Dead Redemption one. And this boy kills him when he's fully grown. I don't blame him. I don't goddamn blame him. Okay, boy. Let's go. Come on, Jack. Get up here. Get your ass up. We're gonna call to Mr. Vandalin what happened. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Yep. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because well because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? So, I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why Hopefully, they don't fall back here. To protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Damn right, kid. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Agent Ross. Ross. Milton and Ross, and, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency, and they know about the train, and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No, 
They ain't nowhere near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Agent Ross, give him a chance. I know too much, but the last game, no, that won't happen. Okay. Where's John? I'm coming, John. Okay, boy. Don't you worry. Morning, Arthur. Who's that? Move! Squela. What this band this this like group disbands in ten years or so. He's like six now or something, is he? Little Jack. So he must be like eighteen or something when the, when the thing happens, so like twelve years from now. Everyone disbands. That's a long time. It's a long, long time. Gonna kill me? Huh? The bounty hunters? Oh, no more, you're not. See, I feel bad for killing a horse, don't get me wrong. That's how the device doesn't work right now. Lightning or is that changing the weather? Changing the weather, that was, that was quick. Mind my business, mind my goddamn business. I'm not one for roads. Goats do that one for the fucking fire shit anyway. Yep, see? Cheat codes. Waypoint. There we go. Oh, 
Sean's here as well. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. <laughs> Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, <laughs> let's go earn some money. Idiot. Just meant man, just meant man who will kill you, John. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. When they see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a big team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. So, anyway, that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. <laughs> Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. <laughs> right barrel of laughs. Yeah. Why is everyone from Dublin who so, is she in Irish? That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and... Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. <sighs> Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you, 
I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. You've a fat ass. Here she comes. Hoorah. I thought enough time. You see, if you come on the corner, you have to stop. I hope he stops. You better stop. Hey, this stop. What's going on here? What's going on? Nah, buddy. I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. All right, Foster. Get on that train. All you all captain. Go on ahead. Now, oh, folk. Don't mind me. Sit your ass down. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. Please don't help me. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Tell mom to stop. I ain't got nothing. We'll have a little chat with the old man here. Oh, I'm on you. All right then. What's the mess? Deal with these two, will you, Mr. Amp? Money. Oh! Just, just give money. Give money. Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag. Oh, Everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. No. Oh. Oh, all right. I'm gonna count to three. One. Two. God damn it. Oh, sick is better than dead, lady. Come on. My goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be no. over, gentlemen. This is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me? No. You go ahead and look okay. for the baggage huh? car. You sure Which about I... that? Why you you shot this son of a bitch. Uh, come on. Give me the money, bitch. I'll do anything. Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over oh. to friend, though. Oh, is that the case? Is that the case? Man, need to target enemies. Oh. oh fuck's sake. Oh, man, that's one of the This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, what else got for me here? here? Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. What am I maxed out on? I don't know where my cigars are, to be honest. Doctor, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Smith, get ready. You may come out the train now, do you hear? We sit.
dead, you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Let's deal with them. We won't tell you. There they are! Open fire, man! Look out on the left! Here comes our friends! What? I'm gonna get up and gone. Oh. All right. That's what it is. A chat. Oh my guns. Bang. Bang. That shit gun. I was gonna hit his head! That I should go automatically just saying. Come on. Come on! Where I'm going, to be honest. Be it, just be it. Boom, 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 fuck, fuck, come on, come on. Professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Mm. 
That was fun. I robbed the train, bitches! And with that episode done, deuces! Ichiro.